guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Although I have not made the meal plan yet, but I will be doing that uh, and sh sharing that with you before this video is over. Today I went to Walmart and did Walmart grocery pickup. I only spent about $100, which is pretty atypical for me, uh, but we already had a lot of stuff in our freezer and pantry. So let me show you what I got. Uh, this is the banana debacle that was today. So they ended up giving me three bunches of organic bananas, which I actually ordered three regular bananas. Cause if you guys watch my hauls, you know, I don't order organic bananas, but, um, at any rate, I'm very uh, interested in, excuse me, how we're going to use these now. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably leave like three or four of these in the bowl on the counter and then I might cut up the rest of them so that I can freeze them and then we can have them for like smoothies or baking or whatever. But anyway, I have a lot of bananas, which is crazy. It's bananas. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so I got some uh, cilantro. This is actually the largest bunch of cilantro I've ever seen. It's like super tall. So I grabbed that for some recipes this week. I also got one pound of strawberries. I only got one pound this week because the kids did not go through all of them last week and I ended up tossing some of them because they kind of went sour in the refrigerator. So I only got one pound this week. Um, I got five gala apples just for snacking. I grabbed some romaine lettuce. Uh, we only have, I think, one heart left from last week, and um, the rest will be for um, salads and sandwiches. I got one English cucumber. Some people ask about why this is called an English cucumber. So here, like the hot house or the English cucumbers are wrapped in plastic, and they don't have that like waxy skin on the outside. And so like whenever I buy traditional cucumbers, I always feel like I have to peel them, but these I don't. I just wash them and cut them up and they have less seeds. So that's that. I got one green pepper for a recipe and then also I decided to go with green grapes. Uh, no reason other than they were on sale and I did make sure to get the seedless. I do not typically buy cut up produce or like pre-cut produce, but um, I know that Connor really loves watermelon and the last time I bought a watermelon we actually ended up wasting some of it just because we didn't get it eaten. So I just ended up buying this small container of watermelon spears so I'll cut those up and he can snack on those this week. I got one package of baby carrots. I really want to make some hummus but I haven't done it yet so we'll see if I get that done. And that was it for produce. We still have some produce left in uh, the refrigerator. For sandwiches this week, I got one pound of the Sara Lee honey turkey. This is really good if you haven't tried that before. And then we have some celery in the refrigerator. This is actually good on celery. It's like this um, sharp cheese spread. It's Kraft Old English spread. So this is good either on crackers or on celery. For dinner tonight, I wanted to get some crescent rolls. We have not had crescent rolls in a while. And tonight we're having beef and noodles for dinner. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. So um, I thought those sounded good. For recipes, I got two cans of just the mild diced green chilies, two cans of cream of chicken soup. For some reason, I always buy the brand name cream of chicken soup. I don't know, I usually just don't, for some reason I just don't like to buy off-brand of this, but let me know if you guys have an off-brand that you like. Um, I got some Ready Whip for some dessert that I'm planning on making, and then some reduced fat Ritz just to use for meat and cheese with crackers. Uh, I grabbed a loaf of bread for sandwiches and toast, and then we to we're totally out of croutons actually, and we had salad for <laughs> dinner last night, and I didn't realize that we were out of them until I went to get them. So I really like these. They're the New York Bakery Texas Toast um, Cheese and Garlic Croutons. They're pretty cheap. They're only like a dollar something a bag, and they're really good. I got one pound cake mix. I have some strawberries in sugar, um, one of those cartons in the freezer that I need to get used up. And so I thought I would make this, and um, we could have it with strawberries and some of that whipped cream. Uh, I grabbed some tater tots. I think I want to make tater tot casserole this week for dinner. And then also I like to put mixed vegetables in my tater tot casserole. Um, I know some people just put corn or just put green beans, but I usually use the mix. So I got two bags of those. And then I got one package of the Capri Sun Roaring Waters for the kids. 
112 pack of the sparkling cherry limeade, which is our favorite. And then just for non-food items, um, I need to go to Costco. I haven't been there in a long time. <laughs> But I need to go there and get stuck up on toilet paper, which is where we like to get it. But for now, I just got a 12-pack of Mega Rolls at Walmart. I got some wax paper because we were all out of that. I was also all out of my scent beads for laundry. And my my favorite is the Gain Fireworks. This is just the original scent. Um, I did get some Drano because my sink in our bathroom upstairs has been draining slowly. So... I'm sure there's like a big clop, you know, glob of hair down there or something. I have no idea. Um, so I got that. And then these are for Murphy. They're smoked pig skin. Um, so I grabbed those for him. I just like to keep these stuff like this on hand because these are, you know, take longer for him to chew. So it occupies him longer. And then I got two packages of band-aids these are my very favorite band-aids so I like the kind with neosporin in them um, I actually keep some of these in my purse so that if we're out somewhere and the kids get a cut I can put one of these on them and then these are really great too they're the knuckle and fingertip band-aids so they actually fit perfectly like either on a knuckle or a fingertip and they come in really handy especially with kids oh and then I forgot one pumpkin by Pumpkin Pie Quest Bar. I can't remember if I've tried this brand or this. I've tried this brand. I can't remember if I've tried this flavor or not. I know I tried the um, Peppermint Bark and it was really good. But I have to go to jury duty tomorrow. And I have no idea whether I'm going to be there like just for a couple hours or all day. So I just wanted to have one of these to throw in my purse in case I got stuck there all day and needed something to eat. So that is everything I got from the store this week. Kind of a smaller haul. I'm going to make my meal plan, and once I figure that out, I'll let you know what we are having. All right, so say hello to uh, present day Jen, because I forgot to initially film this uh, meal plan, and so I'm filming it now for you guys, and I'll have it uh, typed out in the description box below. Let me just make sure I'm doing the right one. Yes, so here is what was on the meal plan for dinner this week. So on Saturday, we actually had steak. I went to... Hy-Vee and they had fillets on sale so I did some bacon wrapped fillets with baked potatoes and salad. On Sunday I made homemade beef and noodles so you will see that uh, tomorrow in my weekend prep video and I also served that with lima beans and crescent rolls. On Monday I made some salmon and tilapia in uh, the tilapia I fried um, or shallow fried actually in panko breadcrumbs and then the salmon I cooked in the air fryer. We also had salad and mac and cheese with that. Tuesday, we had some chicken burrito bowls uh, with toppings, so like cheese, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, all of that uh, stuff that goes on burrito bowls. And we had fruit and vegetables, um, like just some crudite and some fresh fruit from the refrigerator and also some chips and salsa. Wednesday, I was supposed to make chicken curry with rice and non bread, but I didn't get that made. So that will roll over into next week or my meal prep for next week. I haven't decided which. Um, Thursday I made tater tot casserole with fruit and cottage cheese. That recipe will actually be upcoming in a video so make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see that. And then on Friday we um, got pizza. So that was our meals for this week. I apologize for not filming them in the moment but like I said I will have this typed out in the description box in case you want to um, screenshot it or copy it into a Word document for yourself and I will see you in my next video. Bye.